Hey guys, Zoya from the Starcraft Squad. Gonna bring you the next uh, Zoya's Daily Ladder type thing. And it should be fun! Ah! Sorry. But it's definitely gonna be fun. I actually like doing these kind of things. A live passing while play. I'm starting to get a little bit better at it. You know, when I first started doing it, it was kind of like, uh, you know, I would focus too much on the game. But hopefully now I'll be able to, uh, you know, give you some, uh, you know, better decision making and stuff. Um, yeah. Hopefully we get uh, something that's not a mirror matchup. I don't like casting my TVT because. I mean, TVT is a fun match, don't get me wrong, it's my favorite matchup, to be honest, but I, I don't, you know, I don't think it shows much. It, it, you know, I like TVP and TVZ. And this is taking forever to find a game. Oh my, no oh my, oh my. Oh wow, my bonus pool's gotten really high. I should start playing on my main account more. Oh, I'm gonna pause the recording until, oh, never mind. Yes, game time, game time. TVZ, Shakur Black Toe. Yes, I love TVZ. And, um, win or lose, this game's going on my channel, so... You guys either get to see me get raffle stomped or watch me raffle stomp. So, yeah. Get over it. So, what build am I gonna go? Uh, you know, normally, you know, your build gets altered from, you know, what you scout and stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's good to go into a game with the, you know, okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, you need to go into a game and be like, I'm gonna do this, but if I see A or I see B... I'm going to change to C, you know, something like that. You want to have good decision making here. So, like, say I see a six pull, you know, I'm not going to continue with my heavy mech play. Um, I don't think I'm going to go a heavy mech though. I think I'm going to go. Ooh, what should I do? Oops, need to get my SUV over there. That's going to be a little late of a depot. Whoops. Um, so I think I'm going to do something really cheesy. I'm going to go. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That should be fun for you guys to watch. You guys get to watch me do something stupid. I'm going to go reactor uh, factory. Okay, I'm gonna get those Hellions out. Early Heli pressure. And the cloaked banshees, <laughs> proxy cloaked banshees at that. So um Yeah, you guys get to see me be a douchebag. And I think it's gonna be fun. Yep. What's going on? And we're gonna put down that barracks. Huh? Moving out with my scout. Key behind the barracks. Huh? SCB ready. Uh, I like Shakur Spike though, it's a fun map. Just gonna say that it's a fun map. I have no problems against this map. Now, in case you guys were uh, curious, Not how to get in the Master League episode five is being uploaded as I'm playing right now. So, if you guys on? haven't watched it yet, because this will be literally come out after that, you guys should go watch it. It's, you know, tips and tricks that all players need to know. Uh, it's not little exploit type things. It's these little things that you know not everyone knows, and um, you know these could help you out. And you know. Greatly, there are a lot of things that I use in all my gameplay. So, close air positions, awesome. What's going on? Uh, Big job, get that huh? second gap before anything else. And then we're gonna go finish off go my ahead. wall with that depot. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Armed and ready. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Complete. Has he not pulled yet? No, we. Oh, there he is. But we are getting expansion before pull. I mean, that's very standard TBZ. I mean, nothing to be shocked by there. Gonna get that factory down. Whoops, didn't mean to bring two. Get that factory down. Oh, we'll just put him to do it. What am I doing? We're gonna get that reactor down. Not enough I'm to get this guy out of here before the Ling show Get up. You know, we're going to use this guy for my proxy. Oh, so he does scout. He's going to be getting lots of spines. He's gonna going to scout that and be like, okay. Um, he's going that, you know, Hellion opening. So, uh, the Hellion opening, you want to do damage. Of course you want it to do damage. That would be foolish Go to think ahead. that you don't want it to do damage. But the bread and butter of um, this build ready. is, you know, thinking you're going one build. And then, I guess that was the long term to use bread and butter. Well, what you want to do is, you know, make them think you're going one build, and you go something completely different. And that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, we are doing this build. We're, we're following through with this build, which is what we want to do. Oops, need to get that going. But we're also doing something else. So we got the uh, starport going down, and 
what's going to happen is he's going to be like, okay, we're going to see that Hellions. We're going to see lots of Hellions. Additional supply depot. Why don't I just, you know, build a bunch of spines? And that's what he's going to do. He's going to get a bunch of Lings and Roaches and stuff. And then my Cloak Banshees are going to be like, LOL, that's not f cool. Okay, build two more. We're going to lower down one of these depots. Talk to me, boss. We're gonna get this tech lab going. I'm gonna go do some harassment now. Well, SCV ready. Make sure constantly tapping that uh starport. You need to get that uh cloak and banshee started as quick as possible. We're just gonna poke up here at these first two. Oh, and he let me get in his base. That's not good. So we're gonna get that cloak going. We're gonna get that banshee building. And we're gonna do some harassment here. Are you ready for and he's droning way too hard. So we don't have an Evo chamber, we don't have a lair. Which is good. Which is really good for us. Now I know my micro's horrible there, so piss off. But What's going on? that's not the, that's not what matters, guys. What matters is that you know he's gonna come with roaches really quickly. So I gotta get that bunker up and I gotta get those marauders out. And I gotta be on top of my game with my ba with my you know heli and micro and my banshee micro, which you know as you saw wasn't that you know great. They come up here, so we see the roaches. We know he's got roaches. I could probably start harassing soon with my first Banshee, but I like to wait for two. I like to wait for two, there's nothing wrong with that. And so now, he, he, you know, he's not going to be prepared for this at all. Research this is going to uh, really hurt him. And as you can see here, I've already got my Marauders. I'm still getting Hellions, of course, because you know, that's agreement. nothing wrong with that. Uh, here comes my Banshees, and Gun he's going and to be uh, quite upset. So here comes the Banshees. Now we're gonna come up here, build more of that. Still no lair tech. Evo Chambers just now started. I got this. SCV ready. And since he's not really saving for transfusion, we're gonna be able to kill these guys quite easily. Oh, now he's pushing my front. That's not cool. And here we go. Get these SUVs over here to do some damage too. Um, that went okay, I guess. Cloak's fired down these spines. These fours. Can't let those finish. So one of them is. Now we just, you know, we, we harass him to, you know, where he can't, you know, do And, you know, I'm in a pretty good position here. My expansion's going. I've got the Marauders. i got Hellions. And I've got Bandit. No. Oh, and he doesn't even GG. I wouldn't GG either. I mean, I'm not going to shit talk him for not doing that. So, as you guys saw there, my control was pretty shitty there. I am masterly, guys, and I am horrible. So, you know, you guys can get there too. Uh, my Hellion Micro was, you know, below average. <laughs> that was horrible. My Banshee Micro could have been better. You know, I was folks firing the wrong things down. I should have just went for, you know, the Queens right off the bat. Um, so that's a cool little build I do every once in a while. It's not some, this isn't, you know, one of my main builds, guys. So don't be like, oh, Zoya, you're only good because, wow, he's only diamond, too. Damn it, I keep fighting diamond, guys. Ugh. <laughs> uh, you guys are going to think I'm so bad. Oh, well, I probably am. But, uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Go. Uh, this is me, you know, cheesing on the ladder, kind of. Uh, 
But though he did get that Overlord in my base, so he should have known it was coming. And he should have gotten that Evo Chamber a lot quicker. But, uh... You know, this isn't, you know, what I normally do. This. These aren't builds that I use frequently, so don't just go, Ah, yes, this is all you do. This is the only reason you're Masters. Um, it is part of the reason why I'm Masters. I'll give you that. But, you know, I do other things. And, you know, if I would have gotten a TVP, I would have shown you a macro game. Like, game maps like that, I don't like doing macro games. I like, you know, Taldorim Altar. The next Taldorim Altar, you know what, guys? The next Daily Ladder is going to be, I'm going to record it on Taldorim Altar, and I'll show you me fast expanding and actually outplaying my opponent, not doing some cheese. So there you go for that. But um, make sure you guys subscribe. Check me out on Twitter.com slash Starcast Squad. Follow me there. Um, how to get in Master League Episode 5 is out, so watch that. And if you're interested in coaching, it's $8 an hour. You can email me at StarcastSquad.gmail.com. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. I just cheesed some Zerg on the ladder and won, so. See you guys in the next video.